Hello, good morning. I released a video yesterday discussing about an equation that has no solution, but instead of the message to get delivered, it brings about a lot of argument to whether the square root of one is positive or not. So many people have been arguing that square root of one is not equal to one, but equals to plus or minus one. I spent a lot of energy and time trying to convince them that square root of one is positive number, but all went in vain. So in mathematics, anything you say, you have to prove it. So I want to use this opportunity to share more light regarding square root. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to be using one, but I will use another perfect square number, like four. But before then, I want to let you know that the square root of a number can appear in two forms. The square root of a number is only plus or minus if the square root is being introduced later on. But if the number was in the square root mode initially, the value is always positive. And I'm going to prove the two for you now. Suppose we have two equations. The first one, y equals to square root of four. And the second one is y squared equals four. The first one, this implies that y equals to positive number two, while the second one, y equals plus or minus two. I'll prove the two for you right now. Remember, in loss of indices, the square root has an index of two. If y equals to square root of four, you know naturally that square root has an index of two. And this is a perfect square number. It can be transformed to an index form of two power two. Two power two. I remember from laws of indices, a square root of a number can also be transformed to an index form. So this becomes this number two power two to the power of one over two. A number raised to the power of one half is the same thing as the square root of that number. Again, I'm going to apply law of indices here again. Laws of indices says you can multiply the index together and this equal to two times half is the same thing as one. So we end up having two to the power of one, which is the same thing as two. Hence prove. But let us prove the second one. Why do we have plus or minus here? I told you, if y squared equals to four, now we are going to take the square root of both sides, square root of this side, square root of the other side. You know square will cancel square root. Therefore, we see y equals to two, but you have to add plus or minus from here. But why? We have to prove this. It is not just there like that. This is why we have plus or minus. Let me show you. If y squared equals to four, I can bring everything to the left hand side, leaving zero to the other side. So minus four here, minus four here, I will have y squared minus four equals zero to the other side. This is a quadratic function, which is a difference of two squares. Difference of two squares, y squared minus two to the power of two equals to zero. These two terms can be written as y minus two multiplied by y plus two. And to the right hand side, we still have zero. We now have two factors, which we can set each one of them to be equal to zero. If you set the first one to be equal to zero, y minus two equals to zero. This implies that uh, y equals to positive two, because it is only when y is equal to two, two minus two that it is going to be zero. The second one, which is y, plus two equals to zero. This implies that 
y must be negative 2 for this equation to be equal to 0. So this is why we have this one is positive while this one is negative. So therefore we say from here y equals to plus or minus 2. Hence proved. So let me make this conclusion. Put it at the back of your mind that whenever you have a square root of a number while this square root is already attached to that number the value will always be positive and if the square root was later on being introduced you have to add that plus or minus i hope you now understand the difference between the two statements for further clarification i have plugged these two different statements in an online scientific calculator and you can see the difference between the two values thank you for watching do have a nice day